We'll get one though. Wait, is I thought oh we're getting battle born today. I was like I read that as battle born, not battle born. And I was like, wait, didn't that game get like shut down? <laughs> like how But then I realized you're just using it as a as an a verb. Or I guess an adverb. I guess it's verbizing it. We'll get a good run. I mean, the R and our luck can't go that bad for that long, so <laughs> it'll happen. It's good practice in the meantime. Yeah, so you fight the same monster, just the class is ch is lowered to your same size. Which is nice. So, like, if you die to a 100 meter class, then you will get to fight just the regular class afterwards. Maybe we should just do that on the next run, so we can just finish one. And then PB later, off a better run. Maybe that's what we should just accept. Let's do that. That's the new plan. Let's just get a run done. And if we die to a 100 meter class, then, well, the next run will just be better. How about that? Oops, I want to go to settings. It'll just cost us time. It'll just cost us time. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, just getting a run done, even if you have death in it, is actually a good strat. I mean, even my first Zelda 2... And uh, a link to the past runs were like that, right? We uh, we accepted failures. There's just time constraint lost. I think I've just gotten to the point in speedrunning that I I always want to do really well on my early runs <laughs> because I've like done so many speedruns now. But yeah, let's just go to that mentality. New mentality. Just get the run done. If we die, well, so be it. Generators taking damage, everybody. We get it. Boom, nice. Okay. What would I recommend for a beginner speedrun? I mean, it depends on what games you're into. <laughs> like, I don't know. Not everybody's into all sites of games, so... Hard to say on that front. Depends on, like, what your skills are, too. You know, are you good at platforming? Are you good at memorizing things? Like... I don't think that there's one good answer to that. But, like, if you're not a good... Uh, like, if you're a good strategist, then you're probably going to be a lot different speedrun than if you're a super twitchy person, you know. Someone who finds something like Super Meat Boy easy or fun might not also find Final Fantasy fun. And they're completely different skill sets and styles of runs, so... I think the first thing I would always ask anyone who's asking that is, what games do you like? 
<laughs> like, what's your style of playing? Yeah. What's a game you can play over and over again and enjoy? There are some like games that are relatively easy to speedrun, I suppose, but easier than others, I would guess. Like in terms of like runs, for instance, I would consider of all the Ultima series, I think Ultima 6 is probably the easiest to run. I don't think it's like easy to get good times in, but in terms of like difficulty where the run will fail if you're like learning it there's a lot of backups so it's not so bad uh, and it's not a lot of combat or anything it's mostly just memorization I think to get good at it, it takes a lot more effort but the run itself isn't like super uh, physically challenging it's just a lot of memorization but that's where you have to be good at memorization or at least have really good notes with you. <laughs> yeah, I may play all sorts of stuff. I play platformers and RPGs and action games, adventure games, and I mean, we've played everything from we do speedruns, everything from turn-based to this, which is a very different. <laughs> like the style of game that some of the stuff we've done. But yeah, I mean, generally, like, it's just whatever game you want to play, really. So the best speed run for you to start on is one you enjoy, I suppose. I would never really recommend starting on speed runs that you don't on games that you don't care much for. I skipped the freaking start thing again. In terms of what game to start with, that's up to you. I mean, there's are there are definitely speedruns that are harder than others to get really good at. But like for instance, if you can play a game fast, like Super Mario Brothers, you don't have to actually know all the like frame perfect flagpole glitches and everything. You can just play it fast and be a speedrunner. Like, I've done speedruns of Super Mario Brothers, and I have no intention of getting the, like, frame-perfect flagpole glitches at all. Uh, but you can still be fast at the game just by playing it. A lot of those techniques are saving, like, seconds, as a, or even frames in some cases. They're not even saving those seconds. Sometimes they're saving portions of seconds. Uh... or even like one frame <laughs> which is like 16 milliseconds or something I think for 60 megahertz or yeah for 60 hertz not 60 megahertz 60 FPS games so, I mean it just depends on what you're into I uh I don't know what I would recommend if I was I would just ask people what their games are. I mean, Chrono Trigger can be a fun run if you like Chrono Trigger. I don't know how long the run is, but like some cases, like some people like slow, fast runs. Some people like sh like things that are less than 
30 minutes or less than 10 minutes. Other people really like long runs. They're totally fine with the seven hour super runs that are like Final Fantasy uh, seven and nine and those sort of things where like the runs are super long. Some people like super challenging runs, super glitchy runs. I always just tell people, try it out. Try different things, see what you like. If you don't like one thing, try something else. And maybe speedrunning isn't for you too, I mean, that's always a possibility, but... Don't really know until you try it. It's really not that hard to get into. Pick a game you like, play it fast. <laughs> like, done. You just be ran. That's the rules. <laughs> Did you try and beat it faster than you've ever beaten the game before? You were speedrunning. Let's go. That's one of the things I love about games with lots of categories. More games need more categories. I know some, there's some speedrunners out there who are like category purists and they hate subcategories and extra categories. I love them. I think it adds so much life to a game to have so many unique categories to play. Like, I'm so much more into, uh, like, seeing people run glitched categories or side categories. I think it's fun. That's why, like, we have, like, Kill Lord British Percent as, like, speedruns for the Ultima community, because, come on, like... <laughs> yeah, there's whole... There's an entire culture around running bad games. Yeah, there wouldn't be nearly as many like players of that of a game for like AOTTP if it was just one run. I think what's cool is it just appeals to so many more people when you can have like a variety of styles and stuff. Right. Let's see if we get lucky on this run or not. I wonder what we should play soon, too. I've been trying to think ahead on like what games we should be doing now or like trying out soon. Which one should we move on to? I kind of want to like start revisiting older runs and redoing old runs I haven't done in a while. And like get new PBs. There's a lot of old runs that I want to replace my PBs on. I haven't played them in years now. Like ALTTP is a great example. I have a bunch of runs in the ALTTP series that I haven't done in four years, and I'm sure I'm much better now than I was when I did those runs originally. <laughs> like. Castlevania 3 and 1 are ones I've done runs of that I would probably need to revisit. I mean, pretty much anything that was pre uh, Ultima 9, I think I'd want to revisit at some point, which was like what? 
about it anything before a year ago. Which makes sense, because that would give quite a bit of time between me and the run. Definitely anything before moving to Sweden, which I think was Little Nemo and before that. Yeah, Kid Dracula. Wait, I never had the Maniac Mansion crown. <laughs> I don't think I ever had the Mani Ma Maniac Mansion PB or gold. I don't think I had that. But doing runs of Maniac Mansion would be cool. I actually enjoy that game. I would. That's a game that would be cool to do another run of for certain. Yeah, Kid Dracula, definitely. Spatra. Can't get hidden. Thank you. <laughs> Tell it like an edgy Mothra. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Fine. Use that since you're just like stun locking me like that. Which would be a Godzilla monster you don't like? I can name a couple that aren't like super top tier for me, I suppose. Should do a Godzilla monster tier list at some point. Just like I did the movies. Rate which monsters I like more than others. Ogre? Was Ogre. The one that tried to eat Godzilla? <laughs> Hi, the Bastion. The Bastion. Hi, Sergeant Crispy. Godzilla 2000. That's the name of the movie. The American one was not in 2000. It was 97. Slash 98. Godzilla 2000 is the name of the movie, and it came out in 2000. <laughs> It was the Millennial Godzilla, uh, in terms of the franchise. It was the start of that franchise, actually. Yeah, I mean, all the movies came out like one year. That's why I said 97, 98. Like, because like all the movies really came out a year before the one that they're labeled at. Why did it not take the image? Oh my gosh, now I gotta back up into the camera. Oh my gosh, I need to get around you to get to the camera points. Look, I'm taking selfies right now. If you could leave me alone while I take some selfies, that'd be nice. <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff in the Millennial series. Time to kill Space Godzilla. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Yes, yeah. Mecha Godzilla in this in the uh, Millennial series was called Kiryu. It's because technically it's slightly different character. So like, Mecha Godzilla is it is still Mecha Godzilla, but it's a different incarnation. Uh, in the sense that like. Uh, are you just gonna float there? What are you like? A clown now? And that the Kiru version actually has Godzilla bones in it <laughs> and is actually alive, whereas like Mecha Godzilla in like the classics isn't alive. Like it's just a a uh, a robot. Except for, like, kind of in Terror of Mechagodzilla, it's sort of pseudo-half-cyborg, kind of, in a way, because its brain is inject- is, like, built into someone, but that's an android, so they're not a human, they're still, like, a robot. They were human, but then they got replaced with the robot parts, and then the brain of Mechagodzilla got put inside her stomach. It was weird. But Mechagodzilla themselves were just a giant robot. <laughs> But yeah, in the Millennial series, Mechagodzilla is Kiru, and Kiru is actually like, has bones of Godzilla in them. Oh my gosh, well you just died. <laughs> and then becomes alive, like they're possessed by the soul of old Godzilla, kind of. Who then goes on a rampage, but then runs out of power, and then in Godzilla, that was against Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, but then in the sequel, Godzilla Tokyo SOS, Kira once again becomes alive, but this time, uh, kind of saves Godzilla and takes Godzilla into the deep ocean to, like, both, uh, not kill Godzilla, but also to, uh, escape the humans so you end up with like this weird <laughs> in sequence with Kiru flying Godzilla into the ocean oh no my camera didn't do the thing let's go oh the last of the millennial series Super X. Oh, Final Wars? But Final Wars isn't really part of the Millennial series. It's its own thing. The real last of the Millennial series is Tokyo SOS. Final Wars is its own uh, standalone, much like Shin Godzilla. That's why Godzilla had a total redesign in that movie, as Final Wars Godzilla. They have a very unique look that only appears in that movie. Yeah, that is technically, that movie only has two other movies in it that's accepted as a... It is part of the Millennial uh, Era, I suppose, if you want to say in the era, much like 
Shin Go Gojira is part of the uh, Reiwa era, and like uh, GMK was also a part of that era, even though it's not a part of the series, it is part of the era. So the movie came out during the Millennial Era, but it wouldn't be considered part of the Millennial series. But then it's kind of weird because like most of the movies in that weren't sequels, but they all use the same suit really, except for that one. Godzilla 2000, Godzilla against May, or Godzilla vs. Megurius. Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. Bonk. You are not fighting well today. Like a podcast. Uh, problem is it's like limited amount of information that I could give because there's only so much information out there about it. You'd eventually get bored of me talking about it. <laughs> There's only so much you can talk about the franchise. Well, they are. GMK is... Uh, that Godzilla is... Actually, literally created the souls of the people who died during World War II. Specifically in the Pacific Campaign for World War II. So they're actually just a giant ghost made of... Ghost cell... Souls. <laughs> like, it's a really weird, yeah, like, they're like a giant, creepy demon Godzilla. They're, that's why they're super evil in that movie. And they have the weird eyeballs. Yeah, like Godzilla is just flat out evil, destroys a school full of kids, destroys a, a hospital, and you get to see the people in the hospital, like, it's terrible, it's a horrible movie, but I get what they were doing with it, it was, the purpose of GMK was very much like, uh, trying to reignite the, like, horrors of the original movie, they wanted to show, like, it was Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah, all monsters attack. It's uh, oftentimes just called GMK. But in that movie, came out in the mid 2000s. Yeah, and Baragon's in the movie, yeah. Baragon is, like, one of the characters in the movie, and yet, like, they're not even in the title. <laughs> it's like, the movie is basically Godzilla's evil and, like, coming to tear everything up, and, uh, there's three protectors of Earth, which in that movie end up being King Ghidorah, Baragon, and... Mothra, who are uh, basically brought back to like save Earth. I guess they're brought out of Earth. They're like hybrid or dormant, not hybrid. Hibernating, dormant, same thing kind of. Uh, and there's these shrines that keep them like locked away. People release the shrines. Mothra kills somebody in that movie. Mothra kills people in that movie. Pretty brutally, too. <laughs> like, it's pretty messed up. Like, when Mothra, like, just straight up kills, like, a bunch of people. <laughs> the movie's pretty brutal. But yeah, like, uh... It's... It's basically those three become the protectors of Earth. Baragon didn't make it in the title for some reason. <laughs> oh no, we have to fight uh, Jet Jaguar. Oh well. I, I 
destroyed more than 50% uh, by accident. So I guess we'll go fight Jet Jaguar now. We're just gonna accept any like time loss from this, so whatever. I love the new movie. I think Godzilla vs. Kong is like S tier movie for me. It's like top, one of the top like Godzilla movies I've seen, I think. It's just really well done. Alright, tiny. Why are you so tiny? <laughs> I think I think King of the Monsters was a good movie, but it was like just in the tier of good movies. Like it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like the best movie. Like versus Kong was just a really it was really good. It was solid. It was enjoyable. It was like Chin Ultraman, yeah. Here's a Shin Ultraman. Right. We didn't select the wrong stage this time. Let's hope we don't get a 100 meter monster on this level. Can we just not get a 100 meter monster, please? <laughs> Yeah, one thing I really liked about uh, the new one too is it doesn't it doesn't fall into the trap that like both both of the previous American ones did, where they tried to make it a family drama. Like 2014 was really bad about that, but then uh, they even kind of continued that with King of the Monsters. But thankfully, they did not do that in Kong. Which made it a lot more palatable to a lot of people, I think. Because it felt less about the people and more about the monsters. Which is what you want to see, that's what you're there for. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's about the people. But I like it when it's about, like... Uh... Like, I'd say, like, Godzilla vs. Gigans, old classics, a lot of those are about the people. Uh, or, like, uh, even Shin Godzilla is about the actual, like, struggles of people versus, like, the just force of nature that is Godzilla in that movie. I think it actually works really well in that case. But they're, like, not Hollywood feel. They don't feel like Hollywood movies, like... Which is like, the problem with a lot of Hollywood movies is they have a very distinct sort of feel. And I think that was struggling with the Godzilla movies. Because they have like such a drama level. Yeah, drama, that's that's a good like call out for it. That's not what like, most Godzilla movies aren't really about the human drama. It's more about like, some story, but not drama e drama I think I think they really learned that in Kong it was just a much better rendition in the franchise I really look forward to seeing what uh, they do next actually in the monster verse especially since they're gonna have the same director on the next movie which is likely gonna be something like Sonic Kong but
the anime? Oh, yeah. I was kind of hit or miss on the anime. I think it was alright, but... It wasn't my favorite by any means. Alright, let's see if we can make it to the tankers before I run out of energy. Nope. Hey! It's not a 100 meter class, everybody! It's not a 100 meter class! We can actually do this now! <laughs> We have gotten a massive amount of rush now. Oh my gosh, can you get in front of it, please? I need you to get over there. Oh, I didn't even see Mothra was just in my way, <laughs> like there. Thank you. <laughs> ah, we finally didn't get a 100 meter class on this level. We might actually be able to beat it. <laughs> and we have like... A really good rush coming out of this level. So our... Uh, our, our growth is going to be really good. <laughs> Which is super good because we need that on these early levels. We need as much as we can. I don't know like what percentage we need destruction wise, but it's pretty high. You don't have to you just have to destroy the generators to beat the game the level and the monster that spawns if one spawns. But uh, for our purposes, the to get to the last stage, so we're trying to do the full game. And the way it works is there are those camera points you see me using, they're called data collection points. We need to get 50% of those to unlock stages 8 and 9. So you can play stages 1 to 7 normally, but to unlock stages 8 and 9, you have to get 50% of the data collection points throughout the entire game. That's across multiple runs. Uh, so we do easy mode first, and then we do medium, which is what we're doing now to get more data collection points. But when you do that, uh, we also, to get to stage 10, we need to be 100 meters by the end of it. And to do that, we have to do this, which is grind, uh, get a full combo on each of the levels, because we need to be 100 meters by the end of this portion of the run, so... Uh, it's pretty challenging to actually to get full combos going in this. I've learned it's not an easy feat. <laughs> Oftentimes results in failures, unfortunately. Oh no! The camera didn't, it just quit on me. Ah, oh, We're not going to be able to get a full combo and that camera, so we're just going to have to come back for it during the battle with the monster. Oh! So, we'll just do that, because there's guaranteed monster battle, so. I could not keep the character in the space without losing the combo, which is... Not at all what I wanted to do, because we need this combo. <laughs> and the monster has appeared. Who is it? Oh, 
great. They're actually spawned at the bad spot too. Because if they get to the buildings before I do, they'll destroy them. So I just need to destroy as much as I can as fast as possible before they get here. Because if they destroy things, it's bad. And we lost our rush. Great. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be bad for us or not. Might as well get this camera point since we're here. I'll just step into it while we fight. to do this level backwards, which is going to be weird, but I guess it's what we'll do. Alright, so we killed Mechagodzilla Booster, I have to take out the other two generators now. Let's go. See if we can build another combo. I'm a little sad that our combo died though. <laughs> uh, that's no good. Yeah, we're growing quite large now. It's really hard to finish this run at 100 meters though, so now I'm concerned we're not going to get 100 meters. We're definitely not going to get enough, I think, from this stuff to kill. We'll see, though. Just we'll fight the generators back to back. <laughs> Maybe we'll get 71 coming out of this level. Maybe 72 if we're lucky. Now we run. We make it in time. Looks like we did. Holding a combo in this level is very difficult. But we'll see. We got 96% destruction rate, so maybe that's good enough. Maybe it's good enough. Yeah, it's really hard to get a hold of this game now. Super sad. I actually find it really fun. I think it's a good game. I mean, it's pretty chill. It's not really complicated. You just beat things up, but... Angira's 100 meter class. Great. <laughs> Great. I'm just gonna let them kill me so we don't have to deal with this because we're not gonna be able to do the combo. So I'm just gonna let them fight me. Go ahead and kill me. Do your thing. <laughs> Come on. You got it. That way we can fight the lesser version. 
Because it'll take forever to fight them, and we won't get the combo, which will, like, ruin the ability to actually, uh, do this level. <laughs> what was that? What was that little... Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, it takes a lot longer to die than you want. Cool. <laughs> That little head motion they did, and they're just like... <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now we won't get a 100 meter class. It's a good time, this will be a somewhat of a time save versus actually fighting that, I think. <laughs> Choosing to die there is like, probably a good speedrun option in RNG. Just because they spawned at the very beginning, we didn't actually have to worry about spawning them in the level. If they spawn in the later portion, it's a big time loss, but at the beginning, just go for it. Now I'll see, look, now they're a 60 meter class. That's doable. Look at that. They're like nothing. Oh my gosh, don't. Well, we lost our, our rush, but if we can take out Angiris here, we can gain another one, I think, on this level, so... Of course, I should actually go in, uh, while we're waiting, get the camera points now that we've lost a bunch of them. And they're in places that would have been good to do... I don't know why I didn't get those when I first stepped into these battles. Let's just get these out of the way... Come on, come on. Yeah, I mean, it's like the difference in size is just massive. Like, it's absolutely massive. Like, that's why a 100 meter class when we were like outclassed by like 30 meters or so was absolutely absurd. 35 meters in some cases, I guess. It just makes it so hard. Plus, you saw how rapidly we were able to destroy them. Alright, so let's get the full combo going. As much combo as we can, at least. Need the, all the buildings that we can get destroyed, destroyed. <laughs> Go this way. I missed the building over there. But... We're about to go to disaster level 2. But I need my rush. Oh, here goes disaster level to you. Which now means we're going to have new enemies in the form of uh, AI that attack us from the military. Oh my gosh, I can't even... <laughs> Look how big we are now. Holy heck. I'm so large. Oh, please. Stop stun-locking me. <laughs> I wonder what our combo here for this level can be. I want to get a bigger combo, please. 
Large fries. I want large fries. Lots of good combo points going so far. No, 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 don't let it. My gosh, almost lost it there. Almost lost it. <laughs> Can't believe that. Would have been bad. Make sure you get the kids to wait to you. Oh, little Godzilla toy inside. Might as well get this while we're here. I wonder if we'll get uh, how big of a combo we can get here. Alright, I gotta go destroy this building. And then this building to get more rush. And there's another building behind it that we get. And since this is just giving us a multiplier for everything we destroy, the more things we destroy, the bigger our multiplier, which is just good. We just need it. Eighty-two meters at this point. I feel like we're doing good, but I have no metric to measure off of, so I don't know. <laughs> now one of these is the time level, I think this is the time level, which makes it much more challenging because we have to do everything in a time limit. <laughs> Where is this time? Now oh, this one hasn't timed, I guess. There is a time level coming up though. Very important that we uh, just destroy as much as we can. <laughs> just destroy everything. Here comes the monster. 70 meter class Ghidor. Okay, we can deal with that. It's not too bad. destroyed the generator just by like whacking on King Ghidorah over here. We didn't even attempt to like just did. It just died. <laughs> oh we lost our combo. That's butts. That's no good. Oh we were doing so good too. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, though. But we need to kill this Ghidorah first. I 
should be. I'm big enough to actually be attacking them with like oh, punches and stuff, but I've been doing the cheap strats. I should be doing this, it's faster. But instead I've been doing this because it's safest. Okay, King of Door is down, but I still gotta get the towers and the camera spots. Okay. We got two towers left. I think we can get them and a combo going. Let's see. Look how big I am compared to this tower now. They're like starting to feel small. <laughs> Those are the same, they're the same things from the beginning of the game. They're just, we have grown so much now. Alright, can we get a large combo going? Probably not. It looks like the camera spot here isn't going to let us do that. Let's see... There are more over here, but we're not going to make it. Alright, Yuki, come on. I'm just going to go for as much destruction as we can, though. Plus, I need this camera spot, so... Twenty? That was a lot. Let's see how that fared for us. Will we reach 100 meters? That's the trick. Are we going to reach 100 meters? We're 91 now. Which is pretty good. I can't pay attention to you right now, Yuki. I'm sorry. But I can't. I hope I've gotten all the data collection points, because that's the other thing that could fail, is I just missed a data collection point somewhere. Because it gets pretty difficult to pay attention to that sometimes. When you get new to the run, you're excited about the combats and the like... It's like, oh no, I'm gonna miss it, aren't I? Alright, this is the level where it starts getting difficult to get your like size up if I remember correctly. It starts feeling like hard to keep a good combo going. Especially once the monster arrives in this one. Where's the camera spot? It says it's right there, but I'm not seeing it. Oh wow, it's in a really bad spot, huh? Oh, well, I guess we're gonna back now because we, we lost it. That was a very tight camera spot. Oh well. What, again? How tight is this camera spot? Oh, are the sound effects spooky? I haven't heard them, I guess. Or I haven't paid attention to them, at least. Okay, so now... We'll start building up a combo again. I mean, we're pretty good on size, so it depends. But these last few levels don't offer a lot to, like, destroy. So it gets- it starts getting increasingly more difficult to actually gain size in these last few levels.
And we can't let the other monsters destroy stuff when we're not near them, or... Uh... Hey, it's Mecha King Ghidorah. 80 meter glass, sorry. As long as it's not 100 meters. Which, at this point, wouldn't be too bad, but... So see, King Ghidorah is over there destroying a bunch of stuff, which means we're not getting combo points for that stuff. Now I need my combos! Now when they're nearby, we get points for it, so it's fine if we're near them when it happens. Ooh, well, that was a good rush, holy heck. Oh, we're about to hit disaster level 3, too. comes disaster three. Oh my gosh, don't let me run out, don't let me run out! Ah, oh, the cinematic cutscene ruined everything. <laughs> oh well. Do our best. Yeah, the classic attack music and everything, it's so cool. We have to be really careful to not push King Ghidorah into the tower in the back. So we can get one last combo going here. Oh, I smell some I smell some good food being made. back to this now. And we have another monster that showed up, huh? No, okay. For some reason I thought we did. Oh my gosh, just let me do my attack. Why does it keep kicking me out of it? <laughs> Is that a pain? The door die. Alright. Now let's get our combo going. We need to get more, more large. Okay. Let's go back. There's buildings to destroy. I got this combo of, like rolling up. Boom. Get our combo points going. That didn't destroy this tower though. I'm kind of surprised by that. Alright. See if we can rush towards the the pipes. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, blow all this up. Go this way. Destroy this. We have another photo shoot opportunity over here. <laughs> Oops. Oh, hey. We actually got to keep our combo. I was really worried there. It looked like it had broken, so. Oh, we are so gonna be 100 meters now. Yes! Oh, we're gonna make it. As, as long as we didn't miss any data collection points, we should be good. We actually might beat a run now, everybody. It's looking really good that we might beat a run. <laughs>
98 meters. Yeah, we're definitely going to hit 100 meters. This is stage 7. Oh, this is exciting. It'll be my first time ever hitting 100 meters in this game, too, so... Alright, I guess we should grind up some more stuff, though. Oh yeah, those are outside of my range. Those are not anything in range. We still need the data collection points, though. So that's a thing. Do you need these last few? Oh, look at us. We're like pretty large now. <laughs> Alright, we made it to a hundred, everybody. That means we will absolutely be able to uh, do the end of the run. As long as we didn't miss any data collection points. <laughs> uh, because that will not allow us to progress to the next stage if we, didn't, if we miss some. <laughs> and that would be really devastating, wouldn't it? To like, get to this point and not be able to beat it because we missed one of the red dots on the screen. And didn't take a photo op with Godzilla. <laughs> Interrupted me and wouldn't let me do my attack because of the Super X2 announcement. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my rush going because I want to get as large as I can. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fight this pretty big monster at the end, so just do a lot of damage. Towers out. Fight Insomniac. Alright, we've destroyed all the generators now, so now it's just kill the Super X's. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna just go destroy all the rest of these buildings. All right, now let's fight some super X's. Oh, what? They're so big. Oh my gosh, I did mega damage to them. It was ridiculous. Am I a fan of the Godzilla movie? What type of question is that? <laughs> like, am I a fan of the Godzilla movies? Am I a fan of the <laughs> I'm like one of the biggest fans of the Godzilla movies. <laughs> How would you not know that being here? You've been here many times, Simsoniac. <laughs> what? This isn't this is several Godzilla games in that we've run too. We've run Godzilla, or Super Godzilla, and we've run this one a few times to you. Godzilla 2014, Super Godzilla, Godzilla in the NES, uh, Godzilla Kaiju Daikessen for the SNES as well. <laughs> Get a certification in at the end. I rewatched every single movie before Kong came out. 
We did it. Oh, we're going to make it to the end. This is going to be the first official run of this category. We did it. <laughs> we have to fight Go Tingo on this, which is the ship from... Uh, it's that weird ship in... Uh, In uh, bleh, the name of that movie, Final Wars. <laughs> Heckin' big. Hi, Cloudy One. Yeah, we don't actually need the data collection points anymore, so I'm not gonna bother with them. But you do see we have a timer now. I have two minutes and 30 seconds to kill all the generators, but not a problem because we're so big now. <laughs> We just walk up to them and smash them. <laughs> no, Gotengo spawned before we could kill the last generator. I think we could have done it. Two hits, two hits we could have got. But I think you still have to fight Gotengo here, no matter what. All right, where are you, Gotingo? Oh, look at our damage. We're so big, we do so much damage. Go Tingo, you're over there. Come back down. We did it. Oh no, no, we have another kaiju coming in. Never mind. No, no, that was disaster level four. Sorry, I'm just. Uh, should pay attention to what they're saying. I think we can smack it. Yeah. Hi, Godzilla Sarius. Godzilla Sa Yeah, Sarius. Hello. Oh my gosh. Oh, we missed. Horribly missed. Rawr! <laughs> the only disadvantage we have on this fight is that we're relatively slow. But we do. Oh. <laughs> and we get stun locked, so I don't actually get to hit them. Which is terrible. <laughs> Just getting stun locked repeatedly <laughs> like that is brutal. There we go. Almost. Almost one hit. One hit left. Come on, go Tango. Oh, you're coming right at me. Alright. Well, this is easy. This is easy mode. We just do this. You did. Rawr! <laughs> Gatingo is from Final Wars. Gatingo is from Final Wars. Two more stages. We're almost there, everybody. Two more stages. Final Wars is a strange movie in that, like, the whole movie, Godzilla doesn't appear until 53 minutes into the movie. It's 53 minutes before, like, Godzilla actually makes an appearance, like... And then they just stomp through and destroy, like, tons of monsters, one after the other, like... <laughs> they just, like, speedrun all the monsters. <laughs> well, I might as well destroy stuff, since I killed the generator so fast. 
the Super Mecha Godzilla didn't even spawn. Where are you? There you are. 95 meter class, huh? That's okay. No! I don't want to lose my rush! Oh well. Not like it matters at this point, we're super big, but... Gotta fight them one time. It's so easy to get stun-locked in this game. Tail swipe, please! Nope, I missed. What? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. What? How did I miss the attack? Oh, they've got... I didn't realize they had the cable on me. I couldn't see it from that angle. Our breath isn't that good against Super Mega Godzilla. Tail swipe, though, highly effective. Oh my gosh. That like pushes me back so strong. Alright. Last stage. We actually get to see the final stage, everybody. This is as far as we've ever gotten. We get to see Burning Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Destroyer. But it does exist in English. You can buy the English version. You don't have to localize it. It already exists. Just good luck paying $400 for it. Because it's been out of print since 2014. And it's extremely rare and expensive. But you can play the PS3 emulated version, I guess. Like. Hey, Yuki. No, I can't pay attention to you right now. Sorry, Yuki. It's hard to see these little things on the ground. I think we just have to kill Super X3, but... You thought they were like Godzilla roars or Godzilla sounds. That's hilarious. Take that Super X3. Alright. I think that's most of the... Oh, there's some over there. I don't know if we need to destroy these things or not. Or if we just have to kill Super X3. But they're coming back around somewhere. Where are they? Where are you, Super X3? There you are. No! Oh gosh, I didn't even get a tail swipe. Ah! Oh, 
Boom! Oh my gosh, look at that damage. Look at that damage. Oh, I missed. Where are you coming from? Where are you? Where are you? Let's go. Oh, I keep missing. <laughs> I have a timer. It makes it scary. Alright, come on. Come on. There we go. But I think we have to fight another monster now. <laughs> or? I don't know when we're supposed to split here. Oh no, no. Uh... There we go. Yeah, we have to fight. Legendary Godzilla. <laughs> it's not done. Okay, I knew there was something else. I was like, I don't think this is done yet. It's Godzilla versus Legendary Godzilla. Whoa! And we have two minutes to do it in. <laughs> I remember there being a twist. <laughs> oh my gosh! just stick with this strat because it's the safest and will get me done with the run fastest and not risky because I can just do this repeatedly and win I think There's our actual time. We did it. We finally did it. <laughs> that was... There was a lot of effort put into that run. Thank you for the GG's. Thank you, Scotty. Thank you, Bastion. Thank you, Binary Split. Thank you, Kintyrus. Thank you, Local One. Thank you, Sergeant Crispy. Thank you, Cooper Move. Thank you, Kami Scum. This this game has a weird ending. Thank you, Dwayne Merlin. Thank you, Richter Shade. So basically, Godzilla is about to explode. And thank you, Tuto's Gun. Thank you, Giannis. <laughs> But basically, like, Godzilla's about to explode, and instead, they freeze Godzilla. Thank you, Kappa Votes. Good Godzilla. Yeah, I like the GG's being good Godzilla. <laughs> so now Godzilla's just frozen. It's just kind of like health. Other, another Godzilla movie has ended. But it's recent enough that I don't want to spoil it. Hi, Scotty. But yeah, now it's got this weird vibe from like Godzilla versus Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla, but it's Godzilla, it's Super Mecha Godzilla from the Heisei era, who's reliving the sort of Kiru moment where Kiro flew 
Godzilla into the ocean at the end of Tokyo SOS. So this is all weird. It's just weird to like... It's mixing the end of like... Uh, I mean, it's got like Shin Gojira mixed with Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. Or I guess Godzilla Tokyo S mixed with like Godzilla Mecha Godzilla 2. It's just all over the place. Like... But I mean, it's a video game, so they're just there's a lot of cool callbacks here. <laughs> Future generations left to deal with the Godzilla bomb. I mean, Godzilla actually died when they exploded in Godzilla vs. Destroya, uh, but they all the radiation was reabsorbed by Godzilla Jr., who became the new Godzilla. And then they ended the that was the last movie, so you never actually get to see that character do anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they're like they're just talking about the fact that they there's a lot of stuff to do now that they've like Godzilla's destroyed they've got to rebuild everything but that uh, that is a daunting task and that they uh, kind of miss Godzilla already because it was a simpler thing to do <laughs> to deal with woo we did it Oh gosh, that was that was awesome. Can't believe we actually we completed this run. We completed it. 